Hey guys, it's Erin again. I am here again at Jaxie's house filming my YouTube video last minute because that's apparently the kind of life that I deserve to live and the lighting here is much better than the lighting at home. So I'm taking advantage of that. Um, as you can see, it's dreary out and I have about half an hour before nap time is over. So I'm gonna try and knock out this video as quick as possible. So welcome back, I'm Erin. As you know, I am the word traveler, and as you can tell from the title above, <laughs> the video, the title of this video is, Why Do I Do This to Myself? So basically what this video is going to entail is my October TBR and why I did this to myself. So anywhere from buddy reads to arcs, you will find out um, why a book is on my TBR for this month and why I did this to myself because I did do this to myself. This is my fault. So um, I got my pile here. So I'm gonna be pulling and showing. We're gonna go over things quickly. Um, I probably won't be touching too much on like overall plot points for these books um, just because I, <laughs> just because. So. Uh, my first book, this is an ARC. It comes out November 5th. Um, it is Every Soul and Breath. I got it from Blink YA. Uh, and obviously it's an ARC, and that means that there is a time limit on it. So I will be finishing this book this month because it is literally due out the first week of November. If you haven't heard about this book, it is about a girl who in their time period or in this world, there is basically a disease called the swarm. And it, uh, it kills her father and <laughs> it kills her father. And then she gets together with a mob and they try to take down the establishment or the swarm or the disease. So that is what this is about. And yeah, so it is out on the 5th of next month. I obviously have a month to read it. Needs to get done. Um, I'll just state it now. There's quite a few arcs that are e-arcs that I will not be touching on that are also due at the end of this month or they come out the first week of November or they come out sometime in October and they will also have to be read. So, obviously I don't have to touch on this one because it's pretty popular. The Bone Houses. It is a perfect October read. I have been waiting for The Bone Houses forever. Um, my friend Kelsey talked about it highly and now I'm obsessed with it, and it has to be read in October. So this one isn't very much a pressure read. Like, this could easily be pushed off till next month. But I'm very excited about it, and I want it to be read. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> um, next up is The Whisper Man. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this book. I am very excited to finally own it. I purchased it. When it came out and I set it aside to read it in October because it is a spooky read and October is a spooky month. And I'm actually reading this with a uh, real in real life friend because she wanted to read it too. And she is now waiting for me. So this book will have to get read this, mo this month. I'm sure my friend would understand if I put it off until next month, but why would I do that? So. The Whisper Man, book three. A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I should have started this one at the beginning of October because I am reading it with my book group. I have had this book forever and have not picked it up yet. And I'm sad I have not picked it up yet. I have been excited about it since I bought it, which was like seven or eight months ago. And I haven't gotten a chance to read it yet. It just keeps getting pushed to the back, to the back, to the back, to the back. My book club is reading it now because book two comes out, I believe, next month or the month following. And I am really excited to read it. So it'll get read this month at some point or another. A Curse of Dark and Lonely. <clears throat> the Evil Queen. Another book that I bought when it first came out and has been sitting in piles being shuffled around and being saved and being put to the side and being not read. Another really great October read. I was very excited about it when I bought it. I'm still very excited about it because Gina Shaw Walter, if you watched last week's video, is on my top five 
favorite authors. So I'm very excited about this read. It's going to get read this October. <laughs> there Will Come a Darkness. I, this is another one that I was super excited about. I waited for it. Um, I requested ARCs for it, didn't get it, and I was bummed about it. My friend Drew and I are... <laughs> My friend Drew and I are buddy reading this, and we should have started October 1st, and I ended up having to ask him to postpone it because I am reading other things with other people, and he was finishing something, and he's buddy reading with someone else, and now he's buddy reading a different book that I'm reading this month. So sorry, Drew. We will read this beauty this month, I promise. Part of Your World by Liz Brashaw. I stole this from my friend Kelsey again and meant to read it when I stole it because I want to catch up on this series. I do not own this series, so I'm either getting it from the library or borrowing it from friends. And obviously I borrowed her ARC copy of it probably about two or three months ago. Told her I'd read it and I'd give it back to her. And I've been organizing my library, found it, and was like, so this will be getting read this October and given back to Kelsey. <laughs> The Broken Girls. Now, funny story behind this one. Um, I am in a thriller, a high volume thriller engagement group. A lot of the girls read it. Two or three of them have read this, read this in the past month and have raved about it. Uh, said it's a great spooky read. It is not very popular right now. I, I think it's been out for a while, but it's uh, it, it goes back and forth between the 1950s and the 2014s. 2014, so that's one year. Um, but they raved about it, said it was a great spooky read. So it doesn't necessarily have to be read this month, but it will be read this October. Uh, The Wicked Deep. So the second book comes out next month and I've actually read this one before, but I didn't retain it very well. I enjoyed it. I remember enjoying it, but I don't remember much else about it. But the second one comes out and I requested an arc for it. And so I felt like I should probably revisit it. It's got some spookiness to the cover. And I am basically obsessed with this gorgeousness. Um, so I'm reading it because it's pretty. And I'm reading it because it's spooky and it's October. And yeah, like a deep. Um, I'm hoping to get in the arc, oh, and I cannot think of what the name of the of the next book in the series is, but um, yeah, I'll be revisiting this one in October. Um, wow, my pile went a lot faster than I expected it to, so I probably could have touched on some of the plot points, and I probably won't go back and re-video this. I might. Who knows? We'll see. Um, so this is actually my first read of the month. It's Ace of Shades. And I am group reading this with Drew, my friend Marta, and my other friend Ashley. Drew and Marta both have uh, YouTube or BookTube channels. Um, and I'll be linking them in the link below. So you guys can go check out their channels as well. They're super funny, super fun. I really enjoy them. Um, so Ace of Shades has been sitting on my shelf for a while as well. I... I'm having a hard time getting into it, which is probably why I'm so stressed out about the rest of my October reads is because I'm just not investing in this one like I was hoping I would. Mind you, I am only on like chapter four because again, October is a busy month for me. It is my birthday this month, um, my sister's birthday as well. I am a huge fan of Halloween. Um, it is just a busy month in general for me. So yeah. Um, so I'm hoping I'm hoping I find the rhythm and I really get into this because I think it deserves to be it deserves to be gotten into. Um, I know that it's basically there's a city of sin. There's a woman missing. Her daughter is looking for her. Uh, she has found a gangster who knows her mother. She is a lady. That's about as much as I know about this book at this point. So I'm hoping it picks up. I'm hoping it gets better. I have been reading the comments in the group message and everyone says that it is good so far. So maybe I just haven't found it yet. But this is my first read of October. That and I'm also reading an art called Call Me Maybe. So yeah, I think I have like, uh, like 
six arcs that need to be read in October as well. So that's fun. I actually had to go get a calendar to kind of break down and highlight what books are due when because I have missed like two that I received from NetGalley that were supposed to be turned in in September and didn't get read because I wasn't paying attention. So organization is key here, ladies and gentlemen. But I am very excited about a lot of my reads on my list. I'm very excited to get into them. And I'm hoping October is friendly to me. And I know I probably won't read all of these books, which is kind of a sucky feeling. Like you always feel kind of bad when you put a book on your TBR and they're like, it's like, it's time. I'm finally getting read. And they don't actually get read. So, yeah. Um, next week, I'm hoping to film in all my library setting. We're going to Ikea tomorrow to get a couple more shelves. I believe Ryan is working on my pallet bed that will be in my library as well. I do not know that for a fact because it is in fact raining out. So I'm not sure if he's in our crepey kind of decrepit garage working or not. But if he is and you're watching this, honey, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, but we will be hopefully homing all of my books this weekend and I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to take you guys on a tour and I'm hoping that next week I'll be able to film in my room and not in my boss's house. So thank you for coming guys because I know this was a short video and I'm sorry about that but yeah I wanted to <laughs> kind of let you guys see what I deal with with my TBR and I feel really guilty like I I we were putting up books this weekend and oh my gosh I felt so bad because I'm like I really should have like a red section and a TBR section but my red section would be so small compared to the TBR section that it would be kind of embarrassing I think um, Kelsey has been telling me since we met that there are two book buying and book reading are two completely different hobbies and I'm apparently really good at book buying and I'm pretty good at book reading too but it's just they, they don't they don't uh, you don't you don't see the same uh, accumulation or advancement in uh, book reading as you do book buying. Unless you're some, you, there's a couple of girls that I, I have been getting closer and closer with in the bookstagram community who literally I think eat books. Like they finish, and I mean, I, I read pretty quickly. I can read a 300 page romance in 24 hours if I'm into it. I, I know that I can chew through a fantasy in about a day and a half if I'm really into it. I So I know that I, I read quickly, but there are some girls that I mean, man, they must just like, put it down and congrats to you if you're one of those people that can put it down whoa, like impressive completely impressive i i wish i could be like you the other issue with me is i find it really hard to read multiple titles at once especially if they are in the same genre so if i am reading two titles like i am now i normally have a fantasy read or a ya read and then a romance read or an adult read. I normally have to pair them up and kind of mix genres and mix um, and mix like adult versus YA. Just because if I read two fantasies at once, I have before mistaken plot points and swapped story bits here and there. And I, it's embarrassed, I've embarrassed myself on more than one time, like more than one time with different people because I thought it'd be smart to read two books together at the same time and it was like it all just kind of merged so yeah so yeah there's there there is a reason behind my madness there is a reason I, I I make such a large TBR I am kind of weird about like I I see a stack and I go okay a B C and D this needs to be done I need to do this with this group but I'm also really bad about saying hey let's buddy read when I know in the back of my head that I have a lot already buddy reading or group reading or um or revisiting or something like that like I technically should have strange the dreamer in my tbr for October and I'm, I'm guessing that was going to send me a very strong worded message 
here in a little bit because it's not in this pile. And that's because I meant to grab it and didn't. But Strange the Dreamer should be on here too. And that's like a 700 page book. Yeah. <laughs> so I, 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 I try really hard. <laughs> And I need, like, what, next month is going to be a very heavy romance month for me, I think. Like, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a breather just because romances aren't as heavy and you're not needing to pull as much, like, and you don't want to say that they're not, they're, they're an easy read. And I hate using the word easy or quick read because I don't think that that's fair. Romances, I feel like you don't have to pull as much fiber out of it to retain the information given. Like in a YA fantasy novel, you or a thriller even, it's it's you're solving a mystery or you're capturing a moment or you're doing something. And it's not so much that you don't do that in a romance. I don't know how to describe it. Let me think really quick. I think that romances are just easier, an easier concept for people to grasp almost. Like you're, it's, and I mean, the paranormal romances, obviously throw my entire argument into the air and change everything. So ignore me, obviously, because I don't think that's a valid point. I think it's a valid point to say that romances are an easier retain for me, because I, I think that every reader is different. I can read and retain a romance very quickly. It may take me a little bit longer to read like a YA fantasy, because I really want to pick apart the story and ingrain it and kind of live it myself. I've already found my romance. Maybe that's why romance is so much easier for me to read because I've already found mine and I know that it's over because married. Um, but I don't know. But uh, for me, romances come really easy. And I know that I have some friends who read romances and they're like, I'm just absolutely, absolutely, absolutely miserable reading this. Sorry, I'm trying to get comfy. And some people who read romances and they're like, I dislike this greatly. So I think it all it it all revolves around you as a reader. That's my spiel. That was a really, really, really unneeded uh, rant. So yeah, that's my October TBR. I don't know why I did it to myself, but I did. So enjoy this video, guys. I'll see you next week. Um, I believe next week I'm going to get with Kelsey and we're going to play Drunk Character Guessing. Still trying to come up with a really cool name for that, but we'll see. These pages take me places and I can't wait to see where we go next. Have a great weekend and I'll see you next Friday.